Nuclear launch detected. Tactical nuke. Oh, nice. Freaking beautiful. All right, that made up for Carl's uh, inability to perform before. Good job, Carl. There we go. All right, cool. So now all of our support guns are here. Carl's ready to go. Let's rip and dip, brother. Tactical nuke. Go. I don't think that could have been a better hit. That was phenomenal. Excellent work. Beautiful, dude. May 1942. The start of the planned German offensive to take the Caucasus oil fields is only weeks away. However, to secure its flank, the 11th Army first has to take two parts of the Crimea that are still in Soviet hands. To achieve this, the Germans take the Kerch Peninsula in Operation Bustard Hunt during the month of May. With the Kerch Peninsula cleared, the entire 11th Army can now concentrate on taking Sevastopol. Approaching Sevastopol from all sides, the German 11th Army meets stiff resistance from the Black Sea Fleet and the separate coastal army under Ivan Yefimovich Petrov. The defenders have dug in everywhere, and they are backed by around 20 fortified coastal batteries, some of which pack a heavy punch. Progress is slow, and heavy artillery is brought to the front in an attempt to destroy the batteries and punch through to the city proper. In this mission, you will lead the attack on battery number 30, or Fort Maxim Gorky Eins, as the Germans call it. You will have our heaviest siege mortar at your disposal. Use it to silence the defenses. The battery's main guns are already out of action. Use your infantry to protect the flanks. Once you have taken out the first line of defense, storm the hilltop and take the fort. We can't allow any more delays in the offensive. Good luck. Scorched Earth. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the defense of Sevastopol. But we'll be attacking it in today's offensive mission for Call to Arms Gates of Hell Osfront, the Scorched Earth DLC. It's been amazing so far. Today we'll see the Carl Mortar, which you may have seen before, Men of War Assault Squad, a massive artillery piece, basically, a uh, howitzer, a mortar, as they say, to destroy those defenses of the Soviets around Sevastopol. Amazing mission so far in the Scorched Earth DLC. Love playing them, and I'm very happy to see all these new assets for things like buildings and structures and flora, fauna, rocks, and whatnot for mod makers to make more missions for us. Should, should be a good time. We got ourselves, a, in, in, I think it's an engineering detachment here, or a brigade or battalion, whatever it may be, and we're going to uh, be kind of a little bit more aggressive with our offensive today. So we're going to go ahead and get our Nebelwerfer over here. Uh, anybody paying attention, class? What does Nebelwerfer mean in German? We're going to go ahead and get our units and forces here ready to go. Looks like we got flamethrowers ready to attack. We're going to get our troops who've just seemingly... Uh, captured an enemy defensive position and brought up a lot of supplies in gear to try to capture a high road up here. Now, as you saw at the beginning of the mission, the Soviets have a lot of defensive uh, guns too, although those have been mostly disabled, but they could still have some tricks up their sleeves, including the first position here, which is a concrete structure, bunker, command, whatnot. We're going to have to hit that a few times with the Nebelwerfer, so let's get started. Go ahead and see if we can bring this into position to, well, first of all, be in cover and then hit that Soviet... Uh, position there. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can hit this thing. Hopefully we can. We can aim up high enough. Let's dip down a little bit, so we got to push it forward just a little bit, but we want it to be in cover. All right, well, I'm really happy that Call to Arms is getting a lot more uh, Gates of Hell content for uh, more and more missions. I think the uh, missions are really what sets this game apart. The, uh, the dynamic conquest mode and the multiplayer and stuff is fantastic, but and these missions can be played multiplayer too. Wow, destroying a 37mm anti-aircraft gun on the first try. Unheard of. I never have any luck with that Nebelwerfer. But today's my day. That's fantastic. Look at these rocks and stuff here, too. A lot of new assets for... And these may have been present in the uh, Finnish War DLC, too, which was the uh, first DLC for this game. But keep it coming, boys. I want to see more DLCs for this game, as it's really uh, stellar to be able to play these different types of campaigns, especially with uh, Sir Henkel and other people making those... Uh, missions and previous mod makers too all right well we need to get ourselves through this barbed wire looks like there's um, a little bit of barbed wire here we want to take the high ground the um 
little bit of a road here that sneaks all the way past structures and defenses. Uh, seemingly barracks there in a warehouse, maybe for munitions. And it looks like there's a wrap of barbed wire all around this area, although it's been bombed to hell. The Soviets probably have nothing in terms of vehicles that are present on the screen, but they could also have themselves, yeah, some defenses, MGs and whatnot, hidden everywhere. That's why we want to try to primarily take the road. We'll see if we can push up there. I'm going to bring up this Lee gun and see if we can hit this barbed wire right there and see if we can sneak our troops through. There we go. The great thing about this mission is that you get the choice of three different types of units going in. You can kind of have like a more uh, challenging playthrough. You can have kind of more of a middle balance playthrough or an offensive playthrough as we're going with. Since we're attacking, well, it kind of makes sense to go with the offensive group. But it does mean that these missions have replayability. It does. It's really cool to be able to replay some of these more than once. And that's something that Mod Makers made a long time ago too. Uh, the ability to choose what units you'd go into battle with at the start of a mission. And uh, you know what I'd like to see, though, is when you load into the mission, being able to choose it after the mission starts and really a breakdown of what you'll get. So that way you can make the best decision for uh, maybe playing it an uh, easier run your first time and then a more of a challenge run in future times. All right, nice. Lots of troops pouring through that barbed wire now. Lee Gun doing a good job of dismantling the defense there. Helping out. Alright, let's clear the way for the gun. Our troops push up the line there. So we do have flamethrowers now. That's kind of something that this DLC is focused on a bit more. Hence the name Scorched Earth. Mostly for vehicles. I don't think uh, flamethrowers are completely new to the game. But there are different flamethrowers and different units with them. All right, let's get everybody to the top of the hill. Now, I don't think we have supply for this unit, so we've got about 33 HE rounds remaining, 10 heat rounds, of course, for anti-tank, so that's good. And a lot of these engineering units here. Field engineers, that's going to be what's specific for this run. Looks like we have a box here full of mines, which are packed with grenades. We have anti-tank, anti-infantry grenades. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, high ground with everything we've got. The Nebel, I guess, can continue to fire. Uh, the enemy's really just got a trench line here, which we could hit one more time. Uh, how many rounds do we have for this? 36, okay. And this is the five barrel or the six? Check in a minute. Uh, let's fire. Oh, is that an eight? Oh, it's an MG, okay. Let's fire right here. That is the six barrel. Nice. Nice job, boys. Looks like they blew the... Oh, damn. Nice hit. Dude, two out of two on these nice hits. Blowing that bunker apart. Knocking out the gun. A couple more infantry there dealt with. Oh, wow, yeah. So just from a few blasts of the Nebel. Good amount of troops eliminated there. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up the flamethrower. We could bring up the uh, Lee gun to deal with this, but... Find our flamethrower. One of these boys should have it. At least it looks like it. I see a little... Looks like a little fire coming out of the end of a rifle, which I thought was indicative of a flamethrower, but I guess not. Wait a minute. Here's our flamethrower. Nice. Let's go up. It is a flamethrower. Oh, darn. It's already been destroyed. Damn you, Lee Gun. Quit being so effective. Right. We got a long way to go, so we got to keep pushing. Let's keep him separate. Also, I've noticed that the AI in this uh, DLC and as usual are pretty incompetent with their flamethrowers, so it might be a best idea to keep them back and uh, put them on hold fire, honestly. Oh, are we hit mines? Wait a minute. We're in a minefield. Uh oh. All right, everybody, hold. Get a medic up here. Sanitator Los. All right, come on, boys. Get these troops back up. One thing that's really unique about this game, too, is that taking losses is a lot more, well, it's a lot more permanent and easy to do because of how often uh, your troops become wounded and then have to be healed by a medic. Um, if they're wounded, only a medic can get them up. 
nobody else can grab like the morphine or whatnot and replenish the um, the troops or heal them that way. Oh, nice. Lee Gun doing some work. All right, well, now that we know that there's mines, change of plans a little bit. Back on the road then. So, I guess we're going to have to push up the road to about here and then flank to the left. Fun. All right, let's see. Let's bring the Nebel up as well. Try to keep everything defended. And that uh, beautiful Lee gun, 31 rounds remaining. Keep striking enemy targets if you can. All right, he'll hit anybody coming down the road. Also, if they bring vehicles, it might be on the road, although it looks like they've set up some pretty good defenses. So now we're ready to uh, coil the spring again, so to speak. Yeah, everybody get down. All right, let's go ahead and go through the bunkers. Hopefully we can get through these areas. Oh, AT rifle there. Love how this mission started in a uh, partially captured like trench line already. Our force is successful in pushing up. All right, where's our MG? Lots of engineers here. Lots and lots of engineers. Doubtful the enemy will even try to uh, attempt a counterattack, but it's possible. All right, good. Yeah. Could also capture enemy MGs here. We've got one there at least that we can capture. That'd be a good weapon for us. Oh, looks like somebody got back on the MG. Uh, somewhere. I can see a highlight of an MG, but I don't see exactly where it is. It's hard sometimes in the minimap to check. Oh, right here. <laughs> there we are. Oh, we got a man down. All right, let's push up with the flamethrower. Was sollen wir tun? Wann geht's denn endlich los? Separate these troops a little bit. All right, MG, push up. Was sollen wir tun? Rücken wir aus. Okay, that MG is quite a bit away. Away. Get our gun in a defensive position. And we'll get ready for phase two. So phase two will be this uh, complex here. So the Nebel's probably going to want to hit that. So let's definitely bring that up. Yeah. And we're just bringing the troops up as a hodgepodge mess. Mostly because there's mines everywhere. Nice, MG firing up on our side. 34 doing a good job. Yep. Yeah, that MG's more than aware of our presence. Oh. Yeah, there's too many enemies there. They're a little too far away. Let's bring up the Lee gun. And the Nebel should fire as well. And we probably want to fire on this side here. There seems to be an MG here, but we're going to probably do two. So let her rip and dip. Not bad. MG here is kind of facing the left, so we don't have to really worry about that left side. We just want to try to get to this position and then flood into those trenches. And then we'll have to worry about the last section. All right, Lee Gun, any support here? Nah, that's too big of a hill. This is going to be a mess. We have no armor. Uh, let's see. We could try the Nebel again. Save the lives of our troops here. About halfway reloaded. Okay, what do we got here for an objective? Chicken farm, tomato plant, and Ostrov. 
Oh, okay, so we're supposed to also capture this. We, gotta, we do have to clear this out, which we do plan to do. MG just got to be out of the way. Maybe we'll get reinforcements if we capture. So we could primarily focus here. All right, Nebel should be ready to fire. Just a moment. Let's make sure we zero that in. Boy, that's going to be a little tricky to fire at. Could bring it back here. Yeah. Now, our troops who are engineers might also have mine detectors on them, but the amount of time that it takes to do that uh -huh. is just better to avoid them rather than finding them and disarming them. It's just easier to kind of realize that you've walked into a minefield, back up, heal anybody who's been downed, and keep pushing. To bring our flamethrower this way. Uh, they're still able to kind of shoot it. Oh, nice. Liga on beautiful shot. Uh, don't think we have... Do we have an AT grenade anywhere? Yes. All right, let's blow through that. Lob an AT grenade for me, please. Lob an AT grenade for me, please. Beautiful. All right, that'll clean that up. All right, never mind. Nebel Warfer can come up again for another battery. Kind of a weird position for the enemy. They can't really, other than that bunker, shoot too far over the top. Very nice. Having a bad day. A few more soldiers here. Wow, the ability to traverse the rocks, that's really good. Very nice. Yeah, definitely intended for us to go up there with something like grenades or a flamethrower. Massive gap in the uh, barbed wire there. Cool. All right, that position should be cleared. Go ahead and push up to the next one. Yep, there it goes. Beautiful. Keep up the progress, much left to do, yep. Well, hard part's over, I think. At least the um, getting in, wedging ourselves to this bunker. MG should be able to fire at us, but if we're in cover, yep. That'll allow the Lee gun to work. Lee gun, another round out. All right, let's try the uh, Nebel Warfare one more time. And let's fire about there. Beautiful. Outstanding. Beautiful. All right, we'll have those guys cover. Bring up another uh, mix of troops. All right, spread out the boys a little bit more. Not too much of a risk of, like, um, mortars or anything here. We kind of inspected for that. Which drastically changes the gameplay style on how the enemy responds to our movements. All right, back up to the road. I don't think we're going to fire again. 
We've got 24 rounds remaining. I'm going to try to conserve some for the last area here. So maybe 12 more to fire. And then we'll be down to 12. Unless we can replenish somewhere. Wow, barbed wire everywhere. Look at this. Kind of hard to see when we're zoomed out so far, but of course that helps us to see the, the field of battle a bit better. Although I'm not really feeling comfortable approaching from anywhere but the road. Alright, boys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go ahead and move up this way. Alright, and the Lee gun will hammer away. Let's bring everybody up again. Let's coil the spring again. Wow. Crazy amount of uh, kills there. From just a few barrages. Let's double time it and try to capture those positions, overwhelm them. Where they can move around. They're probably heads down in the trenches. Let's get in there, though. Get off the road. <laughs> it's a whole group of medics. What the hell? <laughs> I, didn't re I didn't realize that was an entire, like, squad of medics. Oh, this is great, though. There we go. Usually that plus sign just kind of shows that there's a medic in the squad, which, yeah, certainly that's true. There was uh, eight of them. There we go. All right, well, that's good to know. My uh, statement earlier about medics being important is true, and now we've got plenty of medics. All right, let's roll up again. So this is the... I said this was barracks before, but I guess these are chicken farms and stuff. But I mean, you know, groups could definitely uh, house themselves in here now. So this is the chicken farm and then the tomato farm next. Although they're just generic industrial buildings, number infinity. All right. So, finally the last position. We got a couple of AT guns, actually. We need to stay away from that, so that's an immediate target for the Nebelwerfer. Wow. That's a three out of three for that thing, disabling the gun. It could still be recruited, but I'm going to count that as a hit. That's beautiful. Every time that we fire, the Soviets seem to get a little uh, angry at us and come out of the cover, so it's only a matter of time till that factory is clear. Chicken farm. Oh, yep, yeah, there goes one. Okay, let's move as a squad. Excellent, boys. Excellent. All right, let's not go too much further than this. Enemies deployed Marines from the Black Sea Fleet to reinforce. Beware their tough nuts to crack. You need to throw everything you have at them. Okay. Yeah, we're getting them from two angles here now. West and uh, south. And pull back a little bit. We need to hammer that area for a little while. Oh, looks like they're counterattacking. Capture a enemy MG. Bring that up. There we go. Ah, but of course, the Lee gun down the road. Perfect. Beautiful. Back that Nebelwerfer up. Let's hit him a little bit here. All right, that's a good spot right here. Right between the buildings.
Wow. Best part about that is destroying cover, too, so we can have a clear line of sight with our riflemen. All right, well, we've already uh, captured this area, although it's say, well, saying that it's... Well, I mean, we see enemy troops still in there. Go ahead and bring up the MG. Typically, as I've been playing this, I haven't really wanted to capture enemy equipment, uh, mostly because it's just small MGs like that, and it's not great against... Um, really any of the objectives that I've faced so far. But here with the Black Sea troops trying to counterattack, this is perfect. All right, we do have 12 rounds remaining. I would like to fire at least once more. And they are dug in deep there. Okay. Keep some troops around the factory just so they don't escape. Yeah. Flamethrower, come on over. Our troops have done such a great job. Alright, let's bring up the rear. And we'll finish off whoever's in there. Alright, MG, go ahead and push up to about here. Troops come on up too. Nice. And the Nebel's ready again. Alright, let's hit that flag this time. Try to hit over it. Not bad. It's gonna be a hard position to take. As in, like, actually, like, hard to destroy. Bricks, the steel, all of that stuff's going to be hard to get through. With Even with HE. Let's push up the road a bit. Good job. Phase 1 is looking quite good. Peter, magst du mal ein Foto von Lisa sehen? And one more guy here. I don't think we're going to worry about this guy too much. Get everybody up the up the road. But I love in this game when they give us different types of um, landscapes to attack. You know, in this case, it being quite narrow with a smaller scale attack is kind of cool. Like, we're not dealing with just a squad. Sometimes the missions are squad-based. You know, it's like a Soviet squad somehow behind enemy lines or something like that. Having to capture, like, a... Or disable enemy equipment, that kind of thing. So I like the diversity in all the missions. Sometimes it's a large-scale battle and you have somewhat of an advantage and the enemy gets reinforcements. Other times, they're dug in deep. Right, we're going to try to just push up to this wall here. It looks like a stone wall. Now the problem again is that they're behind this building, so they're all in here. We're gonna have to attack through the flanks. The Lee gun might be able to fire at this building, but I doubt it'll eh, experience success cutting through the wall. I really don't think so. We're gonna need like an 88 or something to tear through this wall. Oh, they're firing from the windows. Nice. The last guys are here somewhere. Yeah, we do have that AT gun we can capture, although this is small. Capture and repair that gun. The gun is trying to fire on the windows, I think. I believe the Lee gun can fire through the windows. Never mind. We just blew the wall out, but now we can fire through the wall. Right, 
We're lobbing shells through factory walls now. That's pretty cool. This weapon is fantastic because of how accurate it is. It's such a medium range or close range. Really outstanding. Now right, let's capture that AT gun. Maybe we can fire at the guy down in the building down there. Alright, let's bring up our MG. Uh, there could be mines here. Well, we need to flank. No, 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 get down in the ditch. Shoot back, boys. Grenade, nice. Yeah, that should have been way easier than that. That was not difficult at all. Yeah, let's get the medics up here. Terminator LMG right there. We should have a medic here. Do we not have a medic here? There we go. The tomato plant. We've got it. We've captured the tomato. Wow, these troops here are quite elite. We're now tasked with clearing the minefields on the north. They're way through the minefields. How fun. Now let's try to save our troops. Boys, we're a little too dug in. Alright, don't worry, boys. The medic division is here. Come on, you guys gotta work. There we go. Everyone will be fine. Calm down, everyone. You're fine. That's pretty much everybody. Cool. All right, so now we gotta get through the frickin' minefield. Thank God we brought those engineers. So, let's go ahead and prepare for that. Everybody up here. Nope. Did we not get this guy rescued? Oh, the medic is... Oh, they must have stepped on a mine or something like that. How strange. This guy went down, the medic tried to heal him, and now the medic's down, so... Unless they took damage from the barbed wire. Who knows? Or they just got shot, simply. No time to crawl. Let's go, bro. Cool. All right, let's take this position. Make sure it's completely cleared out. Enemy around here somewhere. Is it this guy? Ah, there's a guy in this building somewhere. Alright, we won't worry about him. Okay, time to put our engineers to work. Who's got like a mine detector or something? There we go. Oh, this will be interesting. First time we've been tasked with a uh, mine detecting clear. How do we do this? It's been a long time. I guess we switch to his secondary. No. I think you can just walk around now. We'll just walk through there. 
Find who else might have a mine detector. Good, another enemy down. Braucht jemand einen Sanitäter? Was sollen wir tun? All right, more Sanitäter. engineers, ja? medics. Wie lauten die Befehle? Befehle? Wie lauten die Befehle? Was sollen wir tun? I think once that guy reaches the uh, back of this field, though, he'll be all right. What exactly do we need to do? Clear a way through the minefields. Oh, over there. Okay. Well, wait a minute. It goes here for here too. The barbed wire probably guards the minefield, so we'll just have him mosey on over that way as we get our troops and vehicles together. Unfortunately, no supply here. We did capture an AT gun, though. That feels good, man. Feels good, man. HE rounds on that thing. Quite a lot of ammo. Looks like they were expecting an attack from the north. They were kind of prepared for an attack from the north and from the west. So that means we're pushing southeast, I suppose. Here's some more mine detectors. Another one. So now we know that objective is important, so might be a good idea to keep your mine detectors back during the combat. Find a few of them and just kind of keep them in the rear. Keep them safe. All right, you guys go ahead and grab mine detectors. So I believe so long as your troops have those as they're walking around, they can't be armed by mines and they detect them which I think makes them uh, basically yeah once a mine is detected that's it it's no longer a threat okay so since we have to walk basically from here I'm gonna go this way and tell our troops to move to the west it's gonna be slow and Arduous, but it looks like it's four vehicles. So this is probably our staging area for the Carl Mortar. And so this is going to be likely the area where we push north. We're so involved with looking for mines here. Wow, lots of mines. I think we might just need to clear a way like through here. We just need an avenue, perhaps. Let's bring all of our troops over. We'll speed things up a little bit. We do have the ability in this game, if you press backspace, you can speed up or slow down time. Certainly recommended, too, by the way, is you could always give orders to troops and multiple people could take the initiative to do their job. If they're a, a minesweeper or a medic, they should be able to do their job on their own without being a little babysitting. I'm going to try to clear this area out and see if just doing a corridor is enough. Okay, we'll see if that's enough. And it links to this road here, too. Let's have them work in groups of three and see if they can detect together. Yeah, every time that there's a little uh, pop-up like that, you can see where the enemies have placed mines. These could be anti-personnel or anti-tank uh, mines. I don't think they have any iron mines or gold mines. What, really? This is tedious. Clear a way through the minefield. Use a spiral pattern here to try to detect. I'm hoping that we just need to make a corridor through an area, but this is uh, <laughs> kind of tedious, to be honest. Would be cool instead if we were just able to capture documents that would show where the mines are. However, it is nice to actually be able to use something the way it's intended. Hence the mine... Uh, detector. All right, let's go ahead and go up onto the hill. Wann geht's los? 
Wait, don't tell me we need to do the whole thing. Oh boy. All right, this is going to take a minute to figure out or clear, so let's do it. All right, so we cleared the defensive line by those soldiers being shoulder to shoulder in the minefields, and now here come the Panzer threes, Panzer fours, tons of troops, and big old Carl. Well, Thor in this case with it written on the side there. Awesome, and some, what, 37 millimeter anti-aircraft guns and tons and tons of ammo. All right, I can already hear fire on this side, so we, yeah, better uh, move the rest of these troops away from here. Looks like they've kind of already evacuated that area. So now we have objectives to take the big O hill up top. There we go. We got our big O artillery guns, uh, 305 millimeters, probably destroyed by rail cannons and other types of bombardments. And uh, so we're going to try to attack one side at a time. So uh, let's see. We've got ourselves ooh, a couple of troops that are wounded already. That's not good. Oh, it looks like they're being hit by mortars. That's lame that they're so close and so accurate already. All right, let's go ahead and get our medics to try to heal those soldiers up. We're going to try to get everybody over to the right flank then and try to penetrate the western side's defenses and see if we can then... There we go. See if we can then uh, start bombarding that right side too. I mean, we may as well go to the mortar where all of our troops and tanks and other reinforcements are already situated. All right, medics... Go ahead and give aid to that soldier there. So yeah, as the map expanded a bit, uh, it looks like the enemy started hitting us with mortars, so they weren't able to hit us until now. But it looks like we got AT guns hitting their lines. That's good. All right, let's get these crew members onto that horrible wind and see if we can get it. I mean, horrible wind. Nebelwerfer. Let's get that Nebelwerfer out of there. There we go. And we'll see if we can start funneling all of our troops and reinforcements to the right flank. Awesome work, uh, Stug. Yeah, just drive on the road. That's totally fine. Good luck, bro. All right, let's go ahead and get him over here, back to our starting location. And we'll try to get all the vehicles over here, too. Now we'll have that Nebelwerfer towed by the vehicle here. Oh, wait a minute. It's already got a gun. Oh, it's going to be a long day. More troops wounded by mortar fire. Try to save as many as we can from that little surprise. Not too many losses, but unfortunate that cutscenes and stuff are kind of... Well, they're just, they're just part of war. <laughs> How many troops have been killed during a cutscene? None. All right, there's all of our uh, engineers from before. I'll leave those guys there just in case we need more mine clearing. We'll know where to find them. And we'll start getting everybody over to this far right flank. So our goal will be simple. We need to capture a few positions on the hill, including the large battery at the very top. So this trench line and many other buildings around it need to be captured, including what looks to be a large uh, pillbox or bunker, command bunker there. And uh, something that looks to be maybe communications here. This is where we can push up this side and clear the whole rest of the road. So it looks like we need to clear a farm access road too. So yeah, it looks like they're pretty much heavily indicating that we should attack the far right side. All right, let's just get everybody off the line. If you can, boys, let's go. Get away from those mortars. Let's not take any more losses. Okay, good. All right, we pulled off an AT gun from there, too. Or no, actually, we still have our AT gun here. Let's go ahead and say GG to that. Not going to be too useful to us. Where can you get off that gun? I think he's stuck back there. I don't think he can turn that gun and get off. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. All right, perfect. Can you jump over the sandbags? Something? Right or oh, whatever. Now with the time. All right, let's go and try to get the Nebelwerfer back over here then. He's a little repair. And the 7.5 Lee gun will push over here too. Luckily, we've got the support of the Carl, so that'll be just fine. All right, the big old Carl Mortar. Check this bad boy out. Nice. A.K.A. Thor with the ability to move and fire. A, what, 300 millimeter? Oh, I was way off. 60 centimeter. Holy hell. 
with the ability to carry four and then tons of supply trucks to carry more. All right, let's get him up here onto the line. We'll keep him safe on this side of the road. And let's go ahead and get the rest of our troops and tanks up here. More troops are on the way. AT guns are on the way. Medics are on the way. All right. We want to be uh, slow and calculating with how we attack. And it looks like a few more troops here. Really wish we could have gotten all those troops out of there, honestly. It kind of pains me to see, but that's war, I guess. Chalk it up to the fog of war. Oh. Looks like whatever happened, uh, looks like they ran over those uh, boxes that were there at the start for grenades and more. Looks like we have some uh, boxes of ammunition, too, that we can transport. Looks like they've delivered some ammo that we can transport via those troops, but not necessarily uh, going to do much more than use that for artillery and soften them up for quite some time. Oh, dude, big Carl getting ready to fire. Now, the real question is, what's the range of this bad boy and what targets will we utilize? It looks like there's a perfect mortar target right here for a concrete bunker and also an AT gun, so that'd be perfect starts. Let's see what the range of our big old bad boy is. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. First saw that in Blitzkrieg back in 2003. That was a really cool game. All right, our target is right over there. And our range is good. Now, we don't really have to be accurate because, you know, 600 mil centimeters, 60 centimeters, that's good times. You may fire when ready. Oh, damn. Nice shot. Oh, nobody's alive in there. The shockwave killed him. Beautiful. All right, prepare to fire again. Let's watch the reloading process of this. That's way more interesting than seeing it fire. So Crank's pushing another shell into it. Wow, that's a pretty fast reload time then. So 60 centimeter, great. Uh, number three mortar. Wow, that thing should have been like a tactical nuke. And it's pretty much ready to fire again. Damn, what a good weapon. Wait, it's not? What the hell else are they doing? Calculating their taxes? The animation of the reload is done. I don't know what more you could be doing. That should probably be reduced. I mean, there's no reason to add time onto that, except for in multiplayer. Give players a chance to, like, mitigate. But anyway. All right, the Nebel Warfare's back on the line. Let's get everybody some ammo. You guys can go ahead and grab some from the trucks. And we're probably going to keep all the ammunition here, honestly. Because there's no real need to bring the mortars, uh, the ammunition to the artillery. We'll just kind of keep everything back by this road. So we do have a Panzer IV, Panzer III, and a Stug III-A. There we go. Finally getting the rest of the troops over here. Alright, we'll leave the medics where they're at. We'll try to get everything repaired. This is going to be a long day, boys. Order's still waiting to fire. So, as we fire this thing, I think our target should be these trenches and the bunkers. Um, we could probably try to fire right in front of us, although I was going to mostly use that for probably machine gun suppression. There's not too many troops in these trenches. Nope, I take that back. However, mortars would probably be a little bit more beneficial here than the Carl. But, you use what you got. Awesome, Nebel Warfare's here. First thing we're going to do is move that over there. Wow, look at that vehicle, man. It's like airline seating. The medic on that Nebel Warfare. Ah, we had to get it out of there and save it from those mortars. Which we can completely ignore on that left side. Carl's still reloading. Alright, let's go ahead and disconnect that. Get it into place, and then we'll recrew appropriately. Okay. Next thing is, uh, I believe we have engineers with wire cutters too, but honestly the best wire cutter is just throwing an AT grenade. 
or just having a tank drive along it. So let's have that Stug do that. There we go. More vehicles on the way. Good. Make sure everybody resupplies. Bandages, ammunition, grenades. Have you go back, sir? Good. You know, I always, I always think, and when I look at the mini map, I always think to myself, man, I, I just cluster things up way too much, and yet, you've got to, you've got to have your troops rally and uh, resupply, and that's the way to do it. Otherwise, it's just way too consuming to go one at a time. All right, hopefully, there's no recoil from the Carl that will damage us. Let's go ahead and watch this bad boy fire in slow motion. Go ahead and set a target. Attack round. Oh, he has a minimum range, too, of 150. Well, let's go ahead and back it up, then. There we go. And while we wait, we'll repair artillery. Good uh, staging operation for us to do some of this stuff here. Well, it looks like the Carl actually fired on this position before. I mean, all these massive craters. Let's see how large of a crater that made before. Where did it hit? Right about there. Not bad. Could be bigger, though. All right. Oh, you're taking too long, buddy. I'm going to take mando control of him. Damn, imagine driving this thing. It's like a train on treads. Look at that skybox. Really looking good. Almost looks like it's a painting. It's gorgeous. Okay. Where are we targeting here? That should do. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, it hit right here and this man's just fine. It bla the blast was literally in his face. Carl sucks. All right, that needs to be patched to be a faster reload or a much more powerful shell. That is horrible. All right, let's go ahead and try the Nebel instead. This will be much more effective. Now, of course, that is probably more for hitting concrete structures and bunkers and things like that, but I mean, you know, come on. People have died of lesser blasts than that. Carl, I'm, I'm sad. You're making me sad. Oh, it looks like there's some more barriers in front of us. Let's get these out of the way. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> it was like it was like a rifle round that came through. Killed three dudes? What, what the hell is this? Was that seriously just a rifle round that pinged off the side of that? There could be... There's obviously AT rifles out there, but come on, man. Alright, let's try to hit this again. Boys are going to have to turn around and load up. All right, let's bring some ammunition up to the Nebelwerfer. And the Lee Gun. Yeah, 
Yeah, we certainly need to replenish that vehicle. All right, where are we at? Let's try this again. Same spot. And three blah, uh, yeah. Three blasts and they're already dead. Fantastic, all right. Let's get all these troops ready. And by the time Carl fires, I mean six months could pass and Soviet Union will collapse due to its own incompetence rather than German hindering, so. Get our troops ready to go up over the top. Lee gun needs some repair. 40 rounds of HE ammunition ready to go. Obviously the enemy having a lot of... AT rifles and such on the other side. We're going to have to overwhelm them and then thin them out quite a bit. See how far Carl has to travel to fire at that. Alright, let's try again. So here's what we're going to do. Neville Werfer. I think a round actually hit our own troops right there. What is up with these explosions? We can't even kill ourselves. Yep, MG-34s. Lee guns. Carl. Setting up anti-aircraft guns now to clear the trenches. There we go. Yeah, screw Carl. What a waste of time that is for the Germans to prepare that thing and supply it. I mean, it's good if you absolutely positively have to kill a bunker, which this certainly has those types of defenses, but learn what we did at, uh, these forces learned at uh, Maginot. All right, medic's on the way, good. Oh, Carl, let's give you another shot. Have a war for repair. Now eh, let's not go to the left. We we just hold here. Medic standing on the body rather than healing. All right, into the trenches, boys. Hopefully there's no minefields. They warned us there could be. Yep, there is. Alright, let's bring our troops over. Right. 
Good, the engineer, uh... Never mind. All right, well, we're clearing those mines that way. That's fine. All right, Carl, time to turn. So, we got mines here we're going to have to clear in order to get through this defensive line. We could use Carl to try to break something like this up. But it looks like it's just kind of a... Not really going to stop us that much, honestly. I think these two Lee guns and two... And air, uh, the uh, auto cannons are just not even going to be a problem for us to use. These are really good weapons for this type of clearing. The only problem is we do need to destroy AT guns so we can move up there. So we'll have Carl fire at that one there. Give him another shot. Hopefully he doesn't hit the frickin' tree. Don't you betray me again, Carl. I think we got it. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, bro. Okay, much better. Nebel Warfer. Where are you at? Uh, where'd that weapon go? There it is. Okay, so let's bring that up to the top of the road. Oh, wow. Look, looks like these are completely out of ammo. Sweet. The box is out of there. We'll change around. Bring up some new ones. Oh, might be out of ammo now, unless he's resupplied somehow. He's got two rounds, so we're good. Alright, boys. I would like you to take out your... Nope, not you. Mine detector is here, here. All right, we're going to walk all around that area. We hopefully can uh, break through these defenses now. And we won't have to worry too much more about mines. Hopefully it's just this side of the road. So it looks like they mined both sides of the road uh, right here. Between there and the defensive line. That's pretty impressive. It's a lot of work. And... I think we want to hit over here somewhere. Try this side. Absolute beautiful direct hit on that bunker. Wow. Nice. I thought it would take out the gun in there too. That was quite the uh, direct hit. Alright boys, let's look for mines, please. We'll have them kind of work all at random. Finding AP mines, possible more risk of AT mines, or at least that's the bigger threat. You guys can join the frontline forces now. Uh, let's see. Carl can stay where he's at. Let's go ahead and provide ammo for these. I want Carl to go gobble that up. Don't do not do it. Don't you do it, Carl. Alright, AT gun in the... Will oh, wait. Uh, machine gunner there. Oh, mortar. That's got to go. There can only be one mortar on this block. What's Carl's range? 350? Where did he fire before? Right about here. That's about 350 right there. That's where we fired before. The target is at 400, so let's push forward. I think the mine sweepers have swept for all AP mines. Now we're just cleaning it up for anti-tank. The rest of the troop transporters emptied out. Panzer threes can come over. Backup of vehicles is just an uh, absolute mess. 
but better on the road than in a minefield, so that's why they're all grouped up like that. All right, let's lob some more. Of that Nebelwerfer, man. Good weaponry. All right. Yeah, we just got to be able to see the target. Okay, I think we're pretty clear to go up the rest of the way. We will probably need... Damn, there's, pro there's probably mines up there, honestly. We will need a vehicle to break through. Hopefully the Stug doesn't get shot by a 45 ACP. Like Tom Hanks taking out that Tiger tank at the end of Saving Private Ryan. Some say it's the aircraft, but no. He hacked the server. We know it's true. We know it, Tom. Don't lie. All right, well, relatively uh, quiet over here. All right, the lawnmower pushed forward with no problem. Uh, Nebelwerfer, are you ready for one last shot? Pretty close. Oh, nice. Stug is firing. Nice. We're going to try to move up behind the minesweeper. Another ammo box out. I don't know in this game that there's a way to bring ammo boxes back to trucks, but it would be a much better way to... Bring boxes back to a vehicle, load it up with ammo, and then bring it back to the front. So that way there's kind of a uh, little... Th these are almost like fobs, you know, like rolling fobs. Then you just have somebody walk back, grab some stuff. It's much safer to bring it up, too, rather than having a vehicle take a direct hit and get smacked. Bigger target that way. Right, one more shot, please. Oh, that's a machine gunner. Oh, my bad. Sorry. He's fine. All right, one more shot. Be a lot of uh, MGs and stuff over here. Oh, we could have Carl fire over there. Why the hell not? Just secure that left flank. MG bunker. Boy, I hope we can try to land something on top of that. That's where we want to shoot right there. Let's try to go for a precise shot. Wow. Well, it destroyed the AT gun in there, so that's good. I really want to see it just like rip away a bunker though, like a hurricane on like a wooden flatboard house, you know? All right, lead gun's coming up. All right, infantry are pretty much clear to go all the way up to the front. Bring Carl up, too. And we'll bring the supply up for Carl, too. All right, I would like to take this tank and have it clear barbed wire. And our minesweeper not finding anything else. Keep them working though, just in case. All right, we've completely broken through. So yeah, why fight all this, uh, you know, nonsense over here when we just flank the enemy and get them to surrender? We'll go for the uh, heroic victory. 
we will not break the enemy's, uh, well, we'll break their lines and break their spirits. Yeah, right. Another line I'd like to cut through here. All right, uh, what do we got here? So we got one artillery gun there. What do we got here? I think a large concentration of troops here. That's that bunker position. So that's another target for Carl. Well, let's fire one more time up there. Then we'll go for this position. Nice. That machine gun is active again. But maybe the enemy can't actually fire it on us. Okay, perfect. All right, the tanks have cleared the way for the infantry with the barbed wire. Carl's on his way. What is this? There. We got multiple AT guns here that or A guns that can't make it across the trench. So we'll fix this. Perfect. And we'll just teleport the other one across. Oh nice. Uh, half-track supply truck. Perfect, so we're able to drag those two across. Bit of a mess here, but honestly, if the enemy doesn't have mortars or anything on us, then we could take all the time we want to win the war. Alright, Carl, time to hit this target here. Try to smack that house. Ready to go. Nuclear launch detected. Tactical nuke. Oh, nice. Freaking beautiful. All right, that made up for Carl's uh, inability to perform before. Good job, Carl. Clean in the house, bro. Supply up there. Any aircraft gun up there? I think Carl's next target will be on our left here. And let's go ahead and disconnect. Okay, so. Oh, interesting. It looks like these are refilling with supply. They were at zero before. Yeah. Oh, they are resupplying. What the hell? Wait, are they taking from other boxes and resupplying? It's like the, they're bouncing the supply all around between the boxes. How does that work? Or maybe over time it just simulates the fact that they're being resupplied by some sort of an invisible force so you can keep fighting. It would be kind of annoying to get to the end of a, a battle and not be able to resupply, although you can always acquire uh, weapons and ammo from the field. From deceased enemy troops. 49? Huh. Well, I guess we'll let those sit there and resupply over time. Let the Neville fire again. Try to fire it all the way up there. Or crazy far. Nice, so a little to the left and we can actually hit some enemies. Push up again further. But I don't think the Lee guns can get across without the help of a vehicle. So that supply truck is just going to have to kind of <laughs> ferry them across like a river crossing. Yeah, it's like a boat and a river crossing, interestingly enough. 
So, anyway, we're closing in on the first objective, which is right there. So once we've taken this position, it's just going to be trench to trench fighting, which will be fun. And then... Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, our first objective is here, and then the last one's on the far left side. Yeah, okay. So yeah, once once we break through up there, that's exactly what we're doing, is encircling them. Let's get one more shot from Carl. Just to make sure things are clear. Oh, it's resupplied again. Good. Now, the problem with the Carl Mortar is it takes so much supply away from your other troops and mortars and things that are a little bit more maneuverable and effective at, you know, not using tactical nukes to kill a housefly. So keep in mind that when you supply that thing, though it's cool, it takes away from all the rifle ammo and other things that you could, or tank rounds that you give to all your tanks. In this case, our tanks will be quite useful once we hit the trenches, although I wish we had some sort of a flat gun, uh, sort of like an autocannon. Well, let's get ready to fire again. And we're going to hit basically right Hopefully, uh, either the trench in front of or the bunker behind and somehow make it so we do some big damage. Alright, Nebelwerfer, where are you? Here we are. Move that across, too. Yep, and we just... Detach that. There we go. Yeah, it uh, teleports to the back of the truck, so we can just basically use this to... Uh, just imagine if engineers built, like, a small little wooden bridge or put something down to just push the small AT guns across. They're not too heavy compared to a vehicle. Oh, well, in that case, they... <laughs> well, in that case, they made it. There we go. All right, cool. So now all of our support guns are here. Carl's ready to go. Let's rip and dip, brother. Tactical nuke. Go! I don't think that could have been a better hit. That was phenomenal. Excellent work. Beautiful, dude. Absolute destruction. Beautiful. My right, next target would probably be here. Crossroads. Concrete bunkers and stuff. Less for the troops to have to clear out. Bring up the Nebelwerfer up to about here. And so now that we make this our new home, we live here now. This is where we're going to lock in for a few, quite some time, lobbing shells, probably around this area here. Once this is cleared out, we then move in on the small house here and clean up resistance and then just kind of walk in and take our prize. Enemies not retreating. Enemies not reacting to our attack. They're not, they're not doing nothing. They're going to have a bad day. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the bombardment of, well, kind of more of the middle area. We've <laughs> we've really cleared a lot of areas out here on the right side for sure. There's really not much in terms of resistance on the right side, but there is resistance pointing towards that from the eastern side. So let's go ahead and start with the artillery again. Nebelwerfer's up, uh, and also, let's see, Carl reloading. All right, where's our Nebelwerfer? Moving up the hill, I see. Okay, good. So we're going to put that right up a out here next to our AA gun. Actually, we could probably just put it up at the top of the hill and uh, well, we'll have to cross the trench, so we'll just put it here. Okay, let's get anti-aircraft guns a little closer. We probably could start to get ready to take the building. Let's get our Sturmgeschutz up here. I'm gonna drive that across the trenches and start hammering the other side of the road where the building once was that we've started to apply the delete button to. Nice. And we could still have AT rifles and whatnot, so we're going to kind of try to sneak up a little closer. Try right, Panzer III here. Yeah, Panzer III. Alright, Panzer III is getting up to the line. Let's go ahead and take a look at our additional troops. I think anybody and everybody who can fight now is just going to be fine here. We, <laughs> we've got such a hodgepodge and mixed match of troops that it'll be just fine to kind of have whoever come up and uh, try to eventually clear those trenches. We will more than likely take losses due to grenades and weird uh, things like that that just kind of are messy. Grenade throws, that type of thing. All right. All those troops from before did such a good job, too, on that road with the MG-34s, which were very effective. All these troops up here. All right. 
And we'll move in a little closer on that house. Just a little bit. I want that Panzer III for its ability to fire a machine gun. How are we doing, Carl? Carl's probably about maybe 30 seconds away from firing. Alright. We'll have the Sturmgeschutz there to support. Panzer III is going to move in with the troops. There we go. Nice job, Sturmiger shoots right into the ground. <laughs> ah, but perfect. The Panzer III already ripping it up. Okay, so now we're going to try to lure them to shoot at our infantry. While they're advancing, they're going to get ready to throw grenades. If they reveal themselves, they're going to get shot at by the Panzer III. And then we'll start funneling into those trenches. So essentially, the um, three objectives are lined up perfectly for us. We just need to kind of clear our way through to the bunkers, through the trenches. All right, Carl, you good to go? All right, let's have another hit maybe over here. All right, let's see. Hard to tell where this area is through the... Uh, Range finder. I think we want to hit probably... We could try to mark attack ground, too. Um, yeah, I think right here would be just fine. Just to make sure we don't have any resistance. Actually, here. This is what we're looking for. Prepare to fire. Here it comes. Wow. Whoa, dude. Frickin' freight train. Beautiful, man. Alright, let's clean up. Alright, well, Carl's gonna be busy for a little while reloading. In a couple weeks, we'll be able to fire another shell. Hopefully our flamethrower can do some damage here. All right, and let's clear up this way. And let's bring up the Panzer IV. And another group of infantry. And I think we can probably try to hit this area again. Oh, right up here would be just fine. Okay, flamethrower, could you clean out that uh, trench line, please? Where is he? Uh, let's see. Looks like we're looking at right here. Oh, nice. We got him. All right. That's dealt with. Now we move down the road. Panzer four. Wow, all right, the building is clear. Okay, so there was an objective here. It was the uh, Ashton Access Road? No, that's all the way at the other end. It's the State Farm. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. All right, let's go ahead and clean the rest of the trenches down here. I, I would assume this is completely captured. We've got this. Unless the area is including... Some of the trenches here. <sighs> what a great mission. Now that we've got the flank here, this is going to be quite exciting to be able to continuously push. Carl's probably another minute away from firing. Nebel, let's check uh, for targeting range here. Actually, I think I'm just going to use attack ground. These are some large distances to fire. Oh, looks like he was already zeroed in. Nice. 
Oh, beautiful, man. If not killing, definitely destroying cover. Uh, looks like the enemy brought up a supply truck, and that's it. Alright, let's get the Panzer three on the line. Yeah, the enemy's probably got mines again somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if they mine the road. And it looks like there are some barriers here, but we can go through the uh, brick walls and things like that. On to the communications section. Let's have our flamethrower do a little work again. Where's he at? There he is. And we'll clean out the rest of these trenches. Essentially now the goal is to push the enemy away from the objectives, so that way we can try to have them count as officially cleared. Apparently these cannons are still occupied. Uh, let's go ahead and push up. You know, this really reminds me of like Iwo Jima or something like that. The, all this sand and, and dirt with like minimal uh, vegetation. Just really reminds me of that. Let's get our tank on the road. I think Carl could probably fire here to clear this out. Oh. Uh, my bad. I didn't realize we'd do multiple volleys on the same target. But if you attack ground, it looks like your artillery will continue to fire. Makes sense, though. That's what the mortars do, so my bad. All right, let's do another clearing. I think we'll fire right there and try to delete another trench. That should be fine. Oh, you know what to do. The great thing about that mortar, though, is that it does destroy... Uh, it destroys a huge amount of cover. Go down here and make sure we hit that. Okay, we unfortunately have an enemy mortar now, so now the fun begins. Where could it be? There. Carl has a new target. Go ahead and move up. I guess we can move everything up now. Unfortunately, the Lee gun's not going to really be helpful here. This, what is this objective exactly? This is to clear the access road, so we must have to clear the entire pathway between here and here. Okay. So that's probably what it is now, is to push the enemy away from the road. That goes all the way down here. And then also capture the battery. Oh god, this is going to take forever. Order's got to go, otherwise it's just uh, too much fun for the enemy. Uh, I don't think we have a medic nearby. We'll try to get close. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and have the... Uh, oh, nice. Black there is covering the trench. If the enemy peeks out, they're dead. Love that. Keep them pinned down. If they try to do something, then that's when we have a physical discussion. Alright, let's see if we can have a medic go out there. Medic's on the way, excellent. Alright, we got about a billion and a half infantry left back here. Lots of random <laughs> troops ready to go. Eh, there's a machine gun there in that bunker, but we don't have to worry about that with the Carl. 
All right, we'll get Carl to the top. Nebel will get that a little closer. We can start hitting targets in the middle. This area here. Okay. Oh, did the mortar... Oh, that's annoying. The mortar, as I suspected, fired at the uh, other medic that went up there, so we'll try to ignore that then. All right, cool. Lob a grenade into that bunker, or at least shoot him. Cool. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so this trench line counted for that as well. We'll see if we get reinforcements for that. Unlikely, but... So it's likely that we'll need to fire on this trench line here, too. You know, if we can actually capture that enemy mortar, it would be fantastic. And instrumental for clearing the other areas. In fact, one of the soldiers on that mortar is already dead. I'm almost half tempted to go up there with a flamethrower and just rip and dip. See if we can capture that actual uh, position. Where's our flamethrower? All right, sir, you're ready to go, I think. We got our troops up here covering. All right, let's rip and dip. So we're clear up to this position. I if we can bring that Panzer IV up. Ah, that'll be perfect. Alright, luckily a lot of these concrete bunkers here are just for lookouts. A 37 millimeter there. Good. Tank there will take a little damage on the tracks, but should be able to destroy the auto cannon. And we're going to try to capture that mortar. Now that the mortar is firing at the tank. Frags going out. Friendlies are down. Let's go ahead and clear the trench. But I think so long as we stay away from that front line that we bypassed and just capture the hill, we'll have more than enough troops to do so. 
And now the purpose is to try to get them to uh, poke their head out and try to get them with all sorts of machine gun fire. It looks like the enemy is mostly inside the bunkers. Into the bunker, boys. Or into the trench. Oof. Uh, I think it bounced out the edge of that trench there. Damn. Flamethrowers are a blessing and a curse. Let's capture this position. I was really hoping to get a cool uh, kill in that bunker. But at least now we have a mortar. Oh, yeah, we got a mortar, all right. Okay, let's counter fire on the other mortar. Not sure exactly where that is now. There it is. All right, nice. I got those guys off the mortar. And the enemy was able to mortar back. Okay. Whew. All right, medics getting the troops back up. All right, Carl, what are we going to do here? What's our plan, my man? Fire over here. Wow, beautiful. Even destroyed the anti-aircraft gun at the top of the hill. Fantastic clear. I'm almost half tempted to let our troops just kind of wander on their own and clear the trenches, but that'll result in too many casualties. The enemy, surprisingly, has a big number of troops in those defenses. We just need to bypass them. So as for major threats now, there's probably still mortars in here somewhere. I can hear flamethrowers. Oh yeah, there went the uh, Neville Warfare again. Two hits in that area is just fine, though. All right, let's push up. All right, what do we got for Panzer IV targets? What if we get up here? Ah, we can. Wow, it's like driving on the moon or something. Some foreign planet. So weird. Alright, Panzer IV is at the top of the hill. So, in terms of anti-tank, we might still have pans, uh, like 37mm anti-aircraft guns that could threaten us. And AT guns, too. Are you shooting at those guns, bro? Uh, let's not waste ammo on these things. They're completely dead. There's troops in those, but they're just cowering. In fact, I don't even know why they're occupied. There's nobody inside that gun at all. Anyway, uh, let's see what our next objective is for taking the main battery. 
So it's just clearing the trenches again. Okay. Things are starting to unravel quickly for the enemy. Losing another uh, trench position for them. Get back on that mortar, boys. Mortar has 25 rounds, so that's ample. And things are going to be a little messy for us as we advance. Obviously, the enemy's in the trenches, and it's not really a wise idea for us to attack the trenches via the trenches. We kind of, interestingly enough, want to attack outside. Because it's the greatest way for the most amount of troops to fire without being... Uh, if you're clearing a trench, you, you could do it with, you know, an individual soldier under your command, but it takes a bit. All right, time to let her rip on everything. Too many enemies down there. There we go. Hell yeah. Well, let's get the medic. Healing up as many soldiers as they can. Luckily, no crazy counterattacks or anything so far. Take the hill. Soldiers move up to the top there. And let's get Carl up top. Why the hell not? Move on up there, Carl. You're top of the world. And with our little Neville. All right, so the Panzer III still has some infantry and such we can clear in the back. I guess this uh, railroad here is to carry these shells for the battery. So there's still a lot of troops protecting that. Let's get this damn vehicle out of the way. Push it out of there. Okay, that does just fine. I didn't know uh, Soviet vehicles exploded on contact, but... I guess that's why most of us drive German, American, or Japanese. My good. Medic did a good job of getting everyone back up in fighting conditions. Excellent. Good job. Carl's climbing to the top. You can do it, Carl. It's like Rocky getting up to the top of them steps. Well, I'm glad we can actually move through this uh, battery. If we had to go around this thing, it would be absolutely... Dreadful. Alright, let's go up to the top with our Lee guns if we can. So now we're going to use our own gun battery. As in the Panzer IV. And we'll get a little Stugi up here. And we might be able to lay down fire on that train line, although, as you'd imagine, it's pretty hard to hit. Okay, so the last objective at the end of the train line is to clear the Bastion Access Road. So that's all the way towards the end. I don't really think we need to clear two of these trenches between, so I think we could start clearing from the end of the rail line. So, just to make sure we don't encounter problems, let's get everybody over here to the onto the battery and we'll go to the right side. And with the train line in the way, we could still use things like the Carl... And the Nebelwerfer to fire over. And as I suspected, the Nebelwerfer kind of got caught on the uh, weird little iron beams and stuff at the top. we bring that supply truck over. Where was that second one we got? We did call another munition truck up somewhere. Let's get the last of the reinforcements up here. Really wish we could fire over everything from this position. Uh, we might need ammo for that thing, too. Where is the... Uh... What do we have for ammo? Oh, yeah, we're completely out. Okay, that's fine. And Carl can fire... No more times, either. He still needs a reload. Well, let's get a couple trucks up here. Now this part's great. When you're when you're chipping away at defenses like this, it's really fun to be able to um, continuously, you know, fire artillery over time, and gradually clear an area. 
Unfortunately, it looks like the enemy still has a mortar. That's annoying. Medics will have these guys back in fighting condition in no time. All right, what needs to die? That'd be it right there. Uh, let's see. Panzer 4 should be able to hit this target. Oh, there it is. Alright, so the Carl and the Nebelwerfer would be useful here, but we're going to bypass a lot of the area. All those guys who've been wounded by the regiment gun have been healed by the medic, no problem. Alright, yeah, usually you want to send the infantry first, but with all this barbed wire, tanks got to go first. Out of ammo here too. No, he's fine. All right, I can see the Stug and a few other things trying to hit that position. Okay, let's attack this uh, trench line here. I want our troops to crawl when they do it, but they're not doing it. There we go. Regiment gun eliminated. That won't be a threat again. Good job, Stug. And where are our supply trucks? Oh, good. Looks like one... has arrived to move the uh, Nebelwerfer. Oh. Yeah. oh, come on guys, don't do that. Okay, the AI is trying to target those batteries. They've been converted to our color now, as in we captured them. All right, time to push up the line again. Yep, just get out of that open area. Oh, no. <laughs> A full clear on that one. Yeah, pesky mortar, you know how it is. Ooh. They've got quite a large mortar there somewhere. There it is, 120 millimeter. That's not necessarily a mortar, that's, that's artillery, baby. AI not able to drive the truck next to the Carl. I'm trying to force it now since we're so close to the end. I don't know why the AI is still insisting on cap trying to attack those guns there. They've turned blue on the minimap. As in, like, they should not be a threat anymore. So that needs to be updated a bit, I think.
All right, 120 millimeter mortar needs to die. But think about the uh, if we just taken all of imagine all the light uh, loss of life and time lost from uh, capturing all those trench lines if we had gone ahead and did that. All right, 120 millimeter mortar is down. Not that big of a deal, was it? Not at all. Okay, medic. Like we have before, we'll get everyone healed up. Biggest threat now out of the way. Interesting that the Soviets decided to blow up the rail tracks and then... dig a trench through it. Alright, that should be it for mounted guns that pose a threat. We'll get a medic for you guys in a minute. Band-Aid's on the way. That's our additional troops. 120 millimeter mortar like that is a phenomenal weapon. If you're in a defense, that's great against vehicles and infantry, obviously. Very effective. Tank will be in working order shortly. Where'd that medic go that we called up? Where'd he go? Sir? Oh well. In yellow you can see our overall losses from mostly mortars. I don't think we've even really taken any losses except for one guy at the beginning. Oh! And here where our... <laughs> this is where our supplies went. They tried to drive here through the minefield, which... I was pretty certain that we cleared most of that out, so that's unfortunate. Although again, not destroyed. They can be repaired. It's fine. Oh yeah, they're trying to drive all the way to the right. Okay. AI is too dumb to be able to easily drive across. Especially since these have tracks on them, they should be able to cross that trench, so... Pathing issue from the AI. Sag. Hope you're not mad at me. I'm furious as a gamer. I expect better. Okay. Yeah, all right, well, they've got lots of uh, barbed wire around this position. All right, time to finish it off. Yeah, I wish pathing for uh, track vehicles was a little better for the trenches there with the supply trucks that were able to... Or rather, not able to get across. Oh, only one guy, huh? There we go, let's plow through. Alright boys, clear it out. Four barrel maximum machine gun here. Oh, damn. That guy. Oh, he's reloading. No, he's not. There we go. Achtung, 
Let's see if we can go up this way. All right, we're dealing with the uh, Marines, too, the Black Sea Fleet. The BSF Marines are here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a choose-your-own-adventure story. Or rather, just let the AI fight it out on their own. We're going to give all of our troops the order to move freely and see how they're able to clean up the rest of these trenches. And so they'll be free to move from defense or... Go into the trenches. They're under their own control now. So they can do as they like to clear those trenches. See how it goes. So now they're going to have to move through trenches. Carl, are you reloaded? Not a single round. Must be quite muddy here. I think there's going to need to be a little bit of work or patching to mobility in these areas. Especially across trenches and, you know, over things that tires should naturally be able to drive over. Alright, oh, Carl's got some shells. Excellent. I right, don't fire, Carl. We need to. We'll aim right here. Right about. Uh, we'll aim right about there. Get Carl in position. That should be good enough. Alright, how are the troops? Oh, absolutely miserable. <laughs> well, to be fair, this is not an easy job to clear all this out. And they're being pretty dumb by going down to the other line. But we'll do uh, something that we find reliable. Which can be this taking a uh, tank and just driving down the trench line. This will either get them to run out and get shot at by the troops. Or we just shoot at them or run them over. Quick little cleanup. I heard there was a medic. Good luck healing all those guys. Oof. Beautiful. All right. Where do we... Where's our Nebel? It could have been destroyed by something at this point. Who knows? It's going to be a minute for Carl. I'm going to fire Carl a little closer. Oh, another mortar there. So essentially, with the number of troops that we have remaining... We should be able to continuously do this, like, AI clear. Although messy, it saves a lot of time, which overall, in the scale of the war, could save uh, lives. So let's go ahead and find one more <clears throat> mounted soldier here. There's also the 120, and we can capture that and fire for days. There's somebody on a gun there. Oh, 
inside that building. A little more realistic to see these troops lying around like that. Nobody in here. This bunker here, maybe? Hi, sir. Oof. Lots more wounded there. Alright, let's get Carl to fire. And I'm going to just make sure I precisely fire here. Oh, it's too close. Right now, we're mostly being attacked by the trenches that are at the lower side of the hill. And pretty soon, we should have a full clear of the upper area. Allowing all the troops at the bottom to surrender without a fight. All right, time to take back control. AI is not doing <laughs> as well as I'd hoped. I expected losses, but damn. <laughs> There's... Wait, is there somebody on this gun on the other side? It's... Wait, I think that's a soldier's arm in the window there. Oh yeah, the gun's... Is he on the gun? What the hell's going on? No idea. Carl, what are you doing? There we go. Yeah, it looks like there's a few soldiers here. And a few more. <laughs> wow. Geht's los? 
Okay, we still have a machine gun here. I think somebody's on this MG. There he is. Beautiful. Ah, that did it. Eastern high ground is ours. There you go. AI. Not great. Victory for us. Excellent. Only 90 losses on our side, to which probably half were towards the end. Not bad. Thanks for watching.